you think hard work pays off in the world of professional sports, you're correct, and this guy is here to prove it. Undrafted out of UMD, even though he happened to help lead the squad to a national championship, and by the way, he just happened to win the MVP of the Frozen Four, Joshua Thomas Brown, aka JT Brown, is about to enter his sixth season as an NHL player. The Lightning and Ducks were his two previous jerseys, and now this Rosemont native returns to his roots for his first season with the Wild. Becoming Wild met up with JT and his family for a great day in their new Woodbury home. We're going to uh, St. Thomas Ice Rink uh, Map Hockey. Uh, that's where I train and work out and skate. Uh, there's a good group of guys there. So Justin Falk will be there today. Preezy should be there today. Brock Besser skates there as well. Um, we got a good group of guys uh, that tend to come out and we work out with and then usually there's more that skate, but uh, it's getting later into the, the season so some guys will be already heading off to their respective uh, cities. Eric Rasmussen is our trainer. Uh, he runs us through our workouts and our skates at Map Hockey. I'm soft right now. I had to put the heat on in the car. It is 62. It's a little, <laughs> I've been living in warm uh, climates for a long time now. Even though I was born here, it goes away pretty quickly. But I'm from here, so I should be all right. One thing too, like first it's like, oh, you're gonna have to worry about tickets. So I'm like, oh, that'll be a difficult situation, but uh, tickets aren't free. As much as people think tickets are free, they're not free. <laughs> so if you're seeing this, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. be a good workout today. Oh no. The one exercise I did not want. Plate push-ups. It's an art machine. It's kind of interesting way to train. And, uh, maybe not conventional, but uh, I like it. So it stimulates your muscles. I don't know why we do everything we do in here, but when it comes to like being on the ice and feeling good and training, I know it works. So you don't, I don't always ask too much because it's all about how you feel and I feel good. Pay attention to the workout, Casto. Since nobody wants to sit by me, I'm just gonna be chirping everybody today. It comes natural, yeah. Like we're obviously in here, the main goal is working out and getting every our job done and you gotta have a little bit of fun. I've been training with them for so long, you, you know what'll get on their nerves, how to mess with them. So, you know, we have a little bit of back and forth in here as well. Get to the floor. You stopped like a foot from the ground. <laughs> JT's an interesting person. He loves to have fun, but he understands that part of having fun is doing all the things that are necessary. This off season has been the best off season for him since I've known him. You know, obviously we're getting closer to the season now, so they start to shorten them up a little bit and yeah, they're usually somewhere between the hour to, to two hour range, but uh, for the most part, the harder ones and the longer ones are early summer. The way we view things here is that the, the guys build their own program. You see the guys interact with each other and they motivate each other and push each other, so they basically run this thing. This is my least favorite exercise in the world. So we got one more set. Some people can work out by themselves and get the most out of it. I know myself personally, I like having you know, a group of guys in there and we're able to chat, we're able to push each other, we're able to just you know, get the most out of our workout because we're there together. You already finished, Castle? You're an animal, an absolute animal. We have Pee Wees to uh, NHL players and uh, those younger guys can look up to them. The NHL has set the tone. Out of every exercise we do in the summer, that is the worst. But it is a training program. Have fun, come in, work on your skills, and the culture that we have here is better than anything in the country. I'm so good. Triple jump for them later? I might hit 30 today. Well, yeah, with the camera here, 30 would be good. This is where I gotta get to. If he gets like two more feet, he should quit hockey. 
The defending champ gets to see what the challenger does first. 30 feet, red line, halfway across. Further than him. That's all. You're up. That's pretty good. My first jump's terrible. All right, let's see what you got. He's chirping me for not hitting the blue. He went one step over the white. Oh, that was the cl Number one. I retained my triple jump belt. I'm tired. I still won. Pretty nice facility though, right? Yeah, so this is like the rapid shot. Uh, you can see the little slots there. The pucks will come flying out, times you based on your reaction time, where you hit in the zone. You can do more static shooting out here. Those are for stick handling. To measure, it's all censored, so you stick handle in and around. But it's kind of nice too. You get uh, some of the jerseys of a lot of the pro guys who have uh, come through here and skated here. So you can change how quick the pass comes out of the machine. Once the puck comes out, how fast you catch and you release, you get more points based on that and how accurate you are in the target. I'm so bad at this game. I got a hundred bucks to post My arms hurt. We just did an arm workout. Uh, I'm just trying to go lefty here. Uh, I'm probably not going to do great, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> 16. Two in a row. Oh! He, Castro, he's 44. 44 left-handed. I still got him. I got him. I'm better at one-timers. Oh my god. Like you shouldn't be able to take a left-handed one-timer like that. No. Not a chance. You know, when you see a lot of these skilled guys out here working out skating, seeing things they do, it pushes you to, you know, try some new things and try things to, you know, make yourself better. Some pretty impressive players. I'm not gonna try to take left-handed one-timers. Just gotta knock all four targets down. If you knock it down without hitting it, it's plus, what, three shots? Three shots. One. Oh. Two. Oh, we're playing, huh? Yeah. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, ten, twelve. You want both of them or just the top one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was on my eyes. I did the post. I did the post. You didn't even raise the pot. You review. So you're at 12. <laughs> I gotta get under 12. Oh. Okay, so that's two. So I'm at five. Okay. okay. Two for one, I'll take it. That's actually not that bad. I hit, it doesn't matter, I hit the, I, no, but I hit the, I hit it with the puck, so that's, that's six. That's not true. I'm not at 10, I'm at seven, I think, or something like that. Let's go. Woo. I gotta get my stuff. Yep, I got them that time. For more Becoming Wild presented by Toyota, make sure and go to wild.com.
gonna go to the locker room and get ready for skate, take some sticks and just kind of get ready so we're out there on time. Name, number, nice little custom touch. JT, you wanna play with Brock? Oh, no, 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 okay. he's on the other team. JT is on the other team. All right. You're gonna take it easy today. Mental note. <laughs> Me and uh, Justin Falk and Chris Castle go back and forth every practice because we have a scoring competition every day. So we do minus points, plus points, so we kind of just keep track of uh, everything during the whole day. Six times, four and We all push each other, which is kind of the thing that keeps me coming back here, not only training with Rass, which is really good, and Jay, but uh, the fact that we all push each other really really makes it fun and you're, you're working harder than you know. Low drive. Low drive. Pop that out. Pops out. This guy comes to the end and the attacker hits his mind. Four two. Me. You scored two there? You knew I was going there. How many you got? Too many. Oh, that's not enough. Five three. Woo! Apple. It's a fantastic group, and uh, it's my second year with uh, them and JT, and uh, he always has a good attitude uh, coming in the workout, and uh, he definitely makes it more fun. That's a good play. I'm pretty lucky to be able to look up uh, to these types of guys, and. Uh, just watching them, um, just their work ethic they bring every day to, uh, in the summer is amazing and they always strive to get better, so. Slap! That was nasty. We just lost three games to one. Wasn't a good showing from the white squad today, but uh, we'll bounce back tomorrow and we're done now, so I think next stop is uh, Rosemont Ice Bridge. In the program, it says I'm from Burnsville, but uh, I'm actually consider myself from Rosemount. I went to Rosemount High School for four years. I just lived in Burnsville for my senior year, so that's kind of how it came up. Those who know me know that uh, Burnsville is not true, and that uh, I'm actually I consider Rosemount uh, to be my home. So I have my uh, Vikings hat on today. I'm a big fan. I think that's by default. Uh, my dad played for the Vikings, uh, 79 to 86. Ted Brown, and plus living in Minnesota, although there are the, the weird Green Bay Packer fans that live here too, but uh, you know, for me, the Minnesota Vikings are the only team. My dad's always given me good advice uh, growing up. You know, he's, he knows what it took to get to uh, the top of his game at uh, his sport, and you know, a lot of the things still correlate. You know, he just instilled to me, he always told me just was to play hard, play smart, and play together, so that's kind of what I grew up on and, you know, kind of his main advice for me. You know, I just look, think back to when I played high school here and, you know, it was the best time for us. We were playing in front of a full house and, you know, you get a win against a rival and guys were jumping on the glass, standing on the boards, high-fiving your friends from class. So uh, it definitely was a fun time here. I was right here, so I got a lot of the names of the guys that sat in each stall from the different years, and this was my stall, 2008. Luke McManus is a good buddy of mine. We grew up in the same cul-de-sac. We sat next to each other in high school, and we ended up going to the same college at Minnesota Duluth, and we won a national championship together. To think, you know, however many years down the road that we'd be in the same place winning a national championship together was pretty cool to think and look back on. And winning a national championship was awesome. You put in so much work and time and your commitment to you know the game and to be the last team standing is something special. Lamb into the corner looking for Schmidt trying to find somebody in front. They'll work it from behind the net. Seven! Score! It's something that you'll never forget. Uh, you know, all the friendships that we had, those are the, the real memories and those are the ones that we're going to be friends with until the day we're all done. I was named most outstanding player. Uh, 
during the national championship run. We had uh, a good team effort though, and you know, without the rest of the team, we wouldn't have won. We're on our way home right now for lunch. Uh, get to see Lexi and the little one, get a little bit of lunch and some family time after our workout. Hi, have a hug. This is my wife Lexi and our daughter Lily. <laughs> I'm six months pregnant, so in the back of my mind was where are we going to be having this baby and to have it here where he's from, where all of our family and friends are, it's, it's going to be really special, so I was very excited. It took away the really good feeling about first word being dada, when now a toothbrush is dada, Everything's dada. TV is dada, <laughs> she's dada, like everybody is dada. Very busy, she's non-stop. This is a little collage of Lily that we did pretty quick after she was born. And then we actually did this one, how many months was she? About eight, so kind of just another family picture. This was before we got married uh, in St. Paul. Aboulay was the venue, another special day. We try to put as many special days and moments uh, on the wall and capture those in pictures. I feel like we have a good amount of stuff done for 13 days. Obviously, there's still more for us to get situated and settled, <laughs> but uh, uh, for now, I think we're, we're doing all right. I have quite uh, the shoe collection, I feel. A lot of pairs of shoes. I have slightly more than she does, so I've got all sorts of colors and different combinations. But if I had to pick one more shoe that I would like, probably these. She has a pair of those and we use these shoes to announce uh, our pregnancy. Well, for Lily, so we had my pair of shoes next to her pair of shoes and then we bought a baby pair of those as well. And that was kind of our way because we all like shoes. But if you thought I had too many shoes, I think I have too many clothes too. Hats, way too many hats. Now we go upstairs. This is Lily's room. Got it pretty well set up uh, so far. We got some time before number two comes, so I will have this done by then, I promise everybody, but for now, it's just a crib. Our second baby will be due December 17th, somewhere in and around that, that time. For more Becoming Wild presented by Toyota, make sure and go to wild.com. This is where all of my gaming happens. This box is pretty special. Um, this has the Nintendo 64 with some of the most classic games that we played as a kid. I haven't had enough time to hang all of uh, the memorabilia, but I uh, just have a team photo from last year with the Ducks. Um, this one right here was my first NHL goal. Uh, I got a pass from Teddy Purcell. A little bit on the right side, high slot, and just caught it, quick release. Comes back up high and Brown, oh, and he gets it right back. Not many people get to say they've scored a goal in the NHL, so you know, you always will cherish that moment. My love of Star Wars actually came from my wife. I didn't watch Star Wars really before until she was like, all right, we need to, when the new ones were coming out over the years, and I was like, all right, well, I'll watch it. And I went back and I really actually enjoyed Star Wars more than I thought I would. But I think what's gonna upset the most people is my favorite character in Star Wars is Jar Jar Binks, which everybody does not like. So there's just something about him that I find hilarious and the way that it bugs everybody else might be the reason I like it the most. Like you can see Jar Jar right here. He's on my desk. And this is my battle station. Spend a lot of time down here. This whole section's about Fortnite. It was a nice custom Xbox that they gave us for attending the Pro-Am tournament. This is uh, NZXT PC. I built this 
not too long ago, but uh, it's got a 1080 graphics card, a few other components that I don't really know. But nonetheless, this thing is a beast. For those who don't know what Fortnite is, it's a video game where 100 people all start in one game and the last person or team, depending upon the game type, whoever is the last one alive will win. So you're basically trying to survive and some people describe it as Hunger Games, but through a video game. So I usually play online with a buddy from Rosemount or uh, I'll play with fans. I'll also play with a few professional Fortnite players as well. Uh, try to mix it up a little bit, but uh, as long as I'm on and I'm playing, I'm having a good time. There's a lot of guys that play this game. I actually did a charity event where I got guys from around the league and we all got on a custom server. So it was just us playing in the game as well as some fans. It was kind of cool. Another way to raise money for Hockey is for Everyone. I actually didn't get started in this game right away because I was like, oh, I don't think I'll like it. And boy, was I wrong. A lot of people will die right off the start of the game and then it sort of slowly gets its way down to one person left. So as you can see this is the circle or the zone where we have to stay inside. The storm closes in and now it changes. So it could have moved up here, it could have moved over here, but it chose there. So that's why where they say like the game changes every single time. Uh, that was a bad time to join that battle. I am out. That was not good. It's always fun though. Come here. Like the sun, I'm here to shine. Like the voice, I'm here to sing. Like the heart, I'm here to love. Like the student, here to learn. To help each other when it's tough, to say together, I am enough. We have our hands full here. It's time for Lily's nap. Thank you for the day, and we'll see you at the rink. Hi. Can you say bye?